welcome to my channel tally learning world in this video we'll discuss about as per the latest changes of mca for 1st april 2022 for this we have to record all your data track of your deletion or alteration for any master or for any voucher in tally prime to do this let's go and select a company so as i have opened the software tally prime edit log i'll just press enter so there is a note which has been going to happen in this company after we do migration for this company data this data will be compatible to the tally prime edit log version which have a track for all creation alteration and deletion of masters as well as vouchers and additionally for all your voucher type masters your method of voucher numbering will be going to change from automatic to automatic manual override so always ensure that there is a backup and then please take a migrate so i'll just click on migrate so there is a backup which is already exist so i'll just click on migrate so as you can see for all my method of voucher types this has been changed so let me go and record a transaction and show you some report so i'm going to my for example purchase voucher at the time of purchase i'll give the supply invoice and i'll just record a voucher from consumer local purchase i'll select any item so as you can see i'll charge cgst so there is no tax has been calculated i'll just press control a so i have did some changes in this voucher or not we'll just have a look from the voucher report so we'll go to daybook under the daybook we'll change the date to 1st april on which i have recorded a voucher of purchase so as you can see i'll just change the voucher to purchase voucher i'll just select the last voucher which i have recorded so you can see in this voucher i'll just press alt q you can see the username it's showing as unknown as because i have not enabled any security control for this company and if you just press enter you can see the entire details it's been going to be displayed so let us go and enable the security control for this company to enable the security control i'll go to alt k alter and enable the option user access control yes and i'll give the username as user1 and the password i have been provided so now i will just try to log out this company or i'll just try to change the user so i'll just change the user to user1 so now i'll go to the voucher the same voucher which i have recorded on 1st april for purchase voucher i'll just try to do some changes in this voucher i'll do a change like instead of supply invoice number 101 i'll just try to be 102 and i'll try to change the for example rate of the stock item to 200 i'll just press control a once the voucher is got saved from the voucher itself i'll press alt q as you can see the details has been displayed so first i have created without any billing any security level now after that i have enable with the security control and along with the date and time it's been displayed so 
when we click on enter so you can see the difference between your versions 